Alrighty, we are back. This time you lads voted the Sith Philosophy, and I am very excited to talk about it, as it's my favorite fictional characters typically end up being Sith. So firstly, we will discuss the Sith Code. Then we will discuss the thing about it I find most interesting. Thirdly, the contradictions I find in it. And fourthly, the way Sith have interpreted the code. The Sith philosophy is as follows. I have it displayed for you to read with me. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. What I find most interesting about the Sith Code is the usage of the words I and me. The Sith Code could have been like the first line, which is, peace is a lie, there is only passion. And then continued onwards by stating, through passion, strength is gained. But it doesn't. The usage of language here is very purposeful. It is to make the reader slash participant acknowledge their personal involvement with the code. This is to facilitate a deep basis for the Sith as one undergoes the trials to become a full-fledged Sith. In the Jedi way, the Jedi code, the person, aka you, don't matter. All things are connected and you must remove yourself in order to see the greater picture of things. This is the beginning of the stark contrast between the Sith Code and we haven't even gone through the first line of this code. In the Jedi way, you must remove your emotions, your very being, from a conflict in order to see the appropriate actions needed to fix it. This is a stark contrast to the Sith who believe that the best way of life is not to remove yourself, but to immerse yourself in the chaos of life to bask and drown in the day-to-day -day struggles, to emerge stronger for it, or perish under the turmoil. The goal of the Sith Code is not one of inaction, but to act, to engage yourself in your life, to embrace the hardships at its fullest, and to become stronger through your emotional strength. A good example of this is work. I could be a doctor, it would take many long years of work, but I know I could do it. Or I could go through my passions for embalming and forensics and pursue a career in mortician, something that I'm passionate about. In finding your passion, you will not find peace, but instead you'll find strength. Through that strength, you will gain success in life, no matter what life throws at you you have a solid power base to always bounce back from. Yes, a mortician makes less money than a doctor, but if I'm facing money troubles, I can still function as I take pleasure in my work through my passion. I am finding the strength to keep powering through my struggles until I succeed. This is the Sith Code, and we have yet to go further down the other lines of this code. So, right now, taking a break, Tell me if you feel like a Sith by the end of this video. Maybe I should become a preacher for the Sith. Because goddamn, do I make it sound interesting. The aspect of the Sith Code that I find most glaring and most interesting to note is the last two lines. Chains being broken and the Force setting one free. These embody much of the Sith mentality. The Sith Code is a perfect enabling tool for those with power. The chains that the code speaks are simply that, the binding that would keep you from achieving your ultimate self. In psychology, this is referred to as the ego. To be your true self, free of the shackles of the superego. In short psychology terms, Freud theorized three areas of a person's psyche. The id, which is the primitive side, that's the utter lack of self-control. So if something makes you angry, you lash out and you bash it to pieces. The superego, which is the opposite of the id, where societal pressure and rules bind your actions giving you so much self-control 
that you cannot act on any basis that you wish. Then there is the ego, and the ego, that is you, the true self, somewhere between the ravenous id and the high and mighty superego. The Sith Code wishes for you to be free of the superego, to no longer have those chains around your actions, to instead engage with whatever you deem fit. This is, of course, in video game world, has manifested in simply watching a random Sith murder a person for no reason, other than that they could. But it's a much more nuanced code than that. It's not simply, oh, embrace the id, embrace it, and just become this ravenous person who just sees someone and says, heh, I bet I could stick my finger in their eye socket and just do it. No, there's much more to that. Because you see, nowhere in the Sith teachings does it say to take from the weak or to punish those that lack strength. It simply states on you, the individual journey you must take to become strong, the individual story that you yourself can create, the possibilities that you are capable of that do not happen because you are chained with such barriers. An example of this would be, what if you were the best racer to go down in history and didn't know it? Well, you can't speed because that's illegal. You can't go to the racetrack because, well, you just don't have money. So you break free just this once, you tell yourself, on a late midnight in the middle of summer, and you just book it, pedal to the metal, speeding down the road. The very color of the road is fading away because of how fast you go. After such an experience, you go and you attempt to show a sponsor how good of a driver you are. And because of your midnight speeding endeavors, you can handle that speed now. The rush of the racetrack as you show them your stuff. You're not flinching like a bunch of neophyte racers. No, you can handle this because you've been bracing yourself by breaking that societal barriers. One interesting uh, contradiction I find in the Sith Code that I am surprised no one really talks about is the last line. The force shall free me. The last line contradicts everything we have talked about as the Sith Code preaches about you, the individual, striking out and strengthening yourself. But the last line indicates that it isn't you at all that did it, but the force. Indeed, the very Sith Code falls to shambles when you see that one glaring issue. The Force shall free me? What about the work that I did to free myself? This is what spurned the Darth Treya. Darth Treya hated the Force with a passion. She hated that the Force had a will, that it planned and toyed with people to achieve its own master plan. In becoming a Sith, she saw how reliant the Sith were, and how many of them enslaved themselves to the Force. It is through this last line of the Sith Code, we as an audience see it. They ascribe the Force as their savior, thereby shackling themselves to it. Therein, that last line of the Code, the Sith establish a new master over their power, over their very potential the Force. So Darth Treya sought to break those chains that bound her and the Sith as a whole, to break free of the Force by not needing it, to break away and never lose her strength. That is real power. How the Sith interpret the code has always been the most interesting to me. Many view the Middle Passage as absolute, that nothing else matters without power can't break free without power, cannot act on your passions if you lack power to do so. We see this conflict in Darth Kratos, who tried to understand the Sith ways and their philosophy, but struggled as ultimately every Sith Lord dedicated their life to one goal, which was power. The pursuit of power for the sake of power is ultimately pointless. Darth Krait pointed this out, in that power should be used in junction with a goal, not the goal itself. Many of the Sith Lords turned away from him, calling him a fool, and yet 
Darth Krayt revived the Empire and conquered the entire galaxy with his new Sith Order. See, this is where we talk about how the Sith Code was uniquely used. Darth Malgus, a human Sith Lord during the uh, Galactic War between the Republic and the Empire, he dedicated himself to the Dark Council and saw the constant squabbles that resulted in constant power plays of the other Sith Lords, and adhering of strict traditions like non-humans being enslaved. Darth Malgus felt disgust, as this was not the Sith Code. The Sith Code is about liberation, it's about fighting, it's about struggling. The decadence and the shackling dogma that many in the Empire believed in broke his faith in the Empire. So he claimed to create a new Empire, one that had many alien allies and a fixed common goal and cooperation between the Sith Lords as they achieved power collectively to strike at their foes. I find it unique in that the Sith who ruled the Empire became the very antithesis to that which they claimed to be. They became enslavers when the code demands breaking of chains. They became debasers when they should be enablers. The reduction of power and passion in the adherence to traditions lowered their power as a whole, granting themselves constant stability by removing themselves from the empire that they ruled over. They chose to live in seclusion that's just completely anti-Sith, to lock themselves away studying arcane lore or plotting the demise of a foe, rather than struggling through the daily life of ruling an empire head on. Here many Sith viewed the code differently, and some like Lord Grathen and Arsidious saw it through science, a better way to find power that the Force could ultimately not provide. Others like Darth Treya viewed the Force as another shackle that must be broken, so she tried her best to kill it and sever the ability of the Force to act its will on the galaxy, freeing the universe of its chains. Others, like Darth Malgus, tried to uplift everyone he encountered by preaching the Sith Code to them and to help them become stronger. If I was a Sith, I would be more like probably Darth Malgus. The Code, indeed, the very philosophy of it, of what it means to be a Sith, is not one of bonding people to rules or pummeling others down. No, it's instead about uplifting yourself and pursuing your passions to find the strength you have inside to become successful in life. To break free of stigma and prosper is the ultimate goal. You could have a family that pushes you into being something that you don't have a passion in. So break free from their pressure and pursue your own path. The road may be tough but you will emerge stronger for it, and in that strength, you will find success. This has been Freezer 700, signing out now. Subscribe and like if you haven't. And please, comment what you think. Comment what lord you think you would be more fashioning of your Sith ideology about. There's many Sith Lords to choose from, and each of them are very unique in their own flavor of how they view the Sith Code. What part of the Sith Code do you think should be more highlighted like do you think passion is the most important line besides that has been free to 700 i am out peace